Hey everyone, I wanted to do a favorites video for you for this month, but for the month of June. But honestly, when I really took a look, took a look, sounds weird. When I took a look at all the stuff that I've been using, I really realized that it was almost identical to the May video. So check that one out. I kind of just continued with the same type of products. I can't say that any particular um, color or, I don't know, anything that was different from that video really came up. So what I want to do is kind of just show you what I'm working on, uh, talking a little bit, kind of like a studio chat update type of thing. So the first thing uh, that I'm that I want to talk about is this beautiful journal that sadly I can't find anywhere um, to link you to. I picked this up at a Fabriano store in, I don't know, some airport in Germany. I flew back from Rome and I resisted going into the shop at the uh, Rome airport. And then I had to fly to um, Austria through Germany. It was just cheaper. And there at the, I think it was Munich, but I'm not sure, at the Munich airport, um, they had another shop, so I couldn't resist. I went in and I bought this journal and then another one. Um, who is spending any time at airports these days, right? So this uh, has this beautiful paper with kind of a rough surface. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure that Fabriano offers this paper also separately, but I don't know what paper it is. It's kind of cream colored, it's textured, it's a bit thinner, it's probably um, like 210 GSM or 200 GSM uh, and it's just lovely. It handles watercolor so beautifully. Um, you can see it buckles a little bit but nothing too major. Beautiful, beautiful journal. I'm using it for this month and I'm just loving it. I'm so glad I went with it. Um, you know, that I looked in my stash to see what I have. Um, it's just a joy to work in. It's such an inviting uh, sketchbook, which I always find is really helpful. Um, if, you know, something similar to this, in my opinion, would be one of the Cuddy journals. They also have that lovely uh, hard cover that is more like a beige color. I don't like those black sketchbooks they look so serious <laughs> so i really prefer to have a light cover and a fabric or something that is a bit more inviting um so check out the cuddy sketchbooks uh, they are also fun and kind of have the same experience as playing in this i would say uh also i just received a few brushes that i wanted to try now i have been using like every day for every painting it's already the um, all the marks are already wearing out the jackson's raven uh brushes i have a few sizes the one i use most commonly is the um, 10 slash zero or the three slash zero and these are such workhorses. They are beautiful brushes. They are very affordable. They are, of course, synthetic. And um, I can only say good things. However, these are only available at Jackson's, although I'm uh, sure they are made by a major manufacturer. But I wanted to try a few other things in case you, you know, for some reason you can't order from them. I wanted to see what is out there. Now, I got this at a local store in Vienna, an art supply store. This is the um, Da Vinci Casaneo Quill Number no. 2, the travel version. This is a pretty expensive brush. I think it's beautiful and um, it's not the most elegant, you know, travel. Uh, I mean, look at this one <laughs> in comparison, but it is really lovely and yeah, it's, it's, the brush is great and I love the idea of having a travel quill brush because those are really my favorites. Uh, I wish that Jackson made a travel version of their Raven brushes. I should write them and ask that they do that, but 
Anyway, uh, I think a viewer wrote me that I should get the number zero and I was looking for the longest time for the number zero of this, the Da Vinci Casaneo, and I found it, but I thought there was a number zero available in the travel format. Um, but I don't think there is, or at least I haven't been able to find it. But what I did find is this beautiful quill brush. So this one is, ooh, Fabrique Alamine in Central Blanc. <laughs> I wish I could speak French, right? <laughs> Such a beautiful language. So this is, again, this is a quill brush, and I will link you to it. It says Leonard something. It's the number one. And you can see that it's kind of similar, maybe a bit smaller even than the Jackson's 10 slash zero. You can be um, the judge of that. And yeah, I really wanted a travel version of this because as I said, uh, quill brushes are my favorite. So I've only painted a little bit with this brush, but it is lovely. Uh, it is synthetic and yeah, it's just, if you love quill brushes and you also want a travel option, then I haven't used it for a long time, so I don't know how, um, you know, how sturdy it is. Uh, I can tell you about the Jacksons, that they are such workhorses, and yeah, I've, I, you, I use mine every single day, and it looks great. So I don't know how long this will last, but it's beautiful, it's lovely, and I think it's just a really great size. Uh, another travel brush that just looked so pretty to me is this uh, Raphael one and it has kind of that rose gold barrel which yeah I love rose gold and it's just like super elegant so this is just a round brush it's nothing special but I thought it was beautiful and I don't have um, a travel brush that is so small and I do enjoy small brushes, especially ones that are well made and can hold a lot of water. Um, yeah, so I picked this one up. Again, I can't give you my opinion because I haven't painted with them enough. And then these ones are also from Raphael. These are the Soft Aqua brushes. And they're both number zero. So, you know, the numbers are sometimes useless with uh, these things. You really have to always read the measurements of the brush so you won't be surprised when you know you order number two and you get a ginormous brush so this is number zero um a teeny tiny brush and then this one is also number zero and they're both from the soft aqua range uh so these are also synthetic and they hold a lot of water they are lovely great options they look very similar to the um, jackson's one but yeah, just um, a really nice option. So if you can find these and, you know, they're a better deal than this, um, yeah, maybe it's worth trying. Now this one I saw someone, I don't remember who it was, um, using this and I was curious. This is by Royal and Langnickel. This is their mini majestic dagger brush, the quarter inch one and yeah, I thought it has like a really nice uh, barrel, I don't know, handle? I don't know if barrel is the right word, but it has a really nice handle that feels really nice. And um, yeah, it has like this sword brush type of tip. So again, I just got it. I thought I would share this with you now and I will let you know what I think about them. now. Another super exciting thing, I'm very happy about how this turned out, is this uh, sketchbook. So I actually thought about creating my own sketchbook for the watercolor um, World Watercolor Month, but then I found this journal and just started to work in that. However, I decided for the new uh, James Burke class, which I'm taking with my daughter, hopefully. I don't know, she's been kind of lazy <laughs> with following <laughs> along. And um, yeah, next week is the last week of school, so we'll see um, if she goes into it with me. But anyway, 
um, yeah, so I created this sketchbook. Now, don't be mad. I thought about filming it, but honestly, I fumbled so much with this. I thought it would just be such a horrible video and you couldn't really see anything. I really don't know how to film the whole process of stitching this <laughs> properly, uh, but also there is nothing really special here. Uh, I will be making more sketchbooks, so I'll try my best. So it's kind of hard to explain. I think it'll be really simple to just show it, but um, yeah, I made this journal. I'll try to somehow film it. It's really simple and really effective. Uh, of course, the great thing about using, about making your own journals is that you can choose the size and the paper and you can mix uh, different papers. Um, so I used some papers that already had something on them, the cover or like the first and last pages of the signatures have some of these color mixing um, pages that you've seen me do in the color mixing videos uh, just because I didn't want them to go to waste. So I used those. And I know that James always includes like these fun collage um, images in his classes and I thought I can uh, also cover these pages if I wanted to with some of his artwork. And yeah, so this is really just following that class. Uh, hopefully I can keep up with it, you know, if, times allow, if time allows and everything. Now, one other thing that I wanted to tell you that I have been enjoying is this sketchbook, notebook type of thing from uh, Hanne Mule. I wasn't sure uh, about it. I think I ordered it, yeah, I ordered it online and then when I got it I was a little bit disappointed that the paper was kind of so thin. I was hoping it'll be a bit thicker but it's really lovely and the paper, it's the same paper that they have in their kind of thinner, um, more traditional regular notebooks. And um, it has some nice texture to it, but what I found particularly enjoyable is the way it handles ink. So it is a thin paper and you can see that it will buckle a little bit if you get it wet, but it holds the ink really, really well. And this is just like some class exercises and notes from uh, James Burke's Whimsical Illustration class. Um, I always say, to myself <laughs> because there's no one here <laughs> that um, painting in watercolor is kind of like my day job and then all of this like whimsy stuff is like my hobby and I think I have the best job and the best hobby uh, and then my other hobby is to shop for art supplies <laughs> but yeah so this paper you can see the ink really doesn't bleed and it's it holds the the ink really really beautifully and then also of course uh, you can sketch that girl is a bit creepy you can sketch with a uh, pen and pencil and all that stuff so uh, i had a lot of fun this was with some uh, brush markers from um, jane davenport and uh, alta new i have a few of those so i really i'm really enjoying this uh, sketchbook it has also one side has lines you know if you take notes then this format might work really well for you uh, obviously I'm too lazy to take notes but you can just sketch on both sides it doesn't really matter and yeah I've been really enjoying it so I thought I would let you know um, what else yeah, I think that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Tell me what your current favorites are. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!